Hey there everybody, Professor Cloud here with what is probably going to be the last episode of this season of Professor Bill's and Anno 1800 Empire. Uh, we are getting extremely close to having everything filled out for Madrid and Newcastle so that we can upgrade to Artistas on Madrid and engineers on Newcastle. Now, of course, we've still got other islands, but all of those islands in both the Old World and the New World are being primarily used for support purposes. So, for example, in the New World, I've got one island that was designed specifically for cotton plantations to be able to send cotton over to the Old World for fur coats. Um, we've also got Barcelona, which was built specifically for sugarcane production and rum production because of the need for rum both in the New World and the Old World. So it kind of reduces the ability for them to grow much. Uh, they have to grow enough to be able to support those and potentially more. Barcelona has certainly grown. Um, but the same thing is true in the Old World. You know, I've got Luton Town that is now supportive of Newcastle with respect to red peppers. Uh, it is now supportive of the New World with respect to work clothes. And then we now have Wrexham up and running with beer production. And uh, the beer production there is primarily to support Madrid. So, and, and eventually over time, I fully expect that Madrid will get full up. It'll, it'll have more than enough of, of those items. And we can then start to ship those items over to the smaller islands. Um, but we are very, very close. The last thing that we really need on Madrid is cigars. So let's go ahead and jump into the game and take a look at what it's going to take to build cigars. And that'll be probably the last building thing that we do. And then we can take a look at the upgrades. What happens when we do upgrade to artistas and engineers? And that'll be where we'll finish season one. Okay, here we are in Madrid. Uh, let me take a look. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Uh, one of the things I did want to take a look at was happiness if that's even able to be seen no I think we can only look at it on a per population basis so if we look at our abreros <clears throat> the working condition why my working conditions have, are under alright so uh, we can see now that Madrid does have beer uh, and we take a look. Yep, there we go. So it actually just got its be first beer shipment of 50. Uh, so the ship should be on the way back to go pick up some more from Luton. Um, I also want to validate that the lifestyle needs of... Yep, we've now got work clothes for the Yornaleros, which is why our profitability is back up over 4,000. So things are looking really, really good. Madrid is in a profitable state as well. Uh, although, you know, it could be more profitable, I would say. Uh, the last thing really for Abreros, I mean, we could go ahead and take like this guy right here and upgrade to a Artista right now if we wanted to. However, if we look under happiness, they do not have cigars. And cigars will make us even more profitable. And I think we've already figured out that Professor wants to be profitable everywhere. I must have all the money. Okay. Four cigars. Where? I gotta find cigars. Oh, that's right. It's all the way over here. <clears throat> so for cigars, we need wood. Got that. We, uh, we need a marquetry workshop. That won't be an issue. We'll be able to uh, put that in fairly easily. And then we need tobacco plantation. Now let's look at the numbers. Lumberjack is every 15 seconds. The marquetry workshop is every minute. So I believe we will have enough. But let's take a quick look at our production here for wood. We are currently at zero of four. And that's because I think I turned off the lumberjack huts. Or they're full. So they can't do anything more. Where are the lumber? Yeah, they're full. So the minute I turn on the Marquetry Workshop, that's immediately going to kick in. So that'll be fine. And then we need tobacco, which is every two minutes. So we're going to create a Marquetry Workshop 
that's every minute, meaning we need two tobacco plantations to support the same level of production. And then that's going to produce cigars. We, uh, God. So that's going to support every minute. We would then need, we actually need four tobacco plantations and two marquetry workshops to support the same level of production of the cigar factory. I don't think we go to that level. I think what we do is we go ahead with one marquetry workshop, two tobacco plantations, and one cigar factory, and then we can add on over time. Uh, because I don't think we have enough of a population to require that level of production. So, first things first. Where are we going to place our tobacco plantations? I think we put them... You should go sit in the shade, boss. I was going to say let's put them right here next to the plantains. But if I remember correctly, we might be running a little short. No, I think we're okay with plantains. But we're going to need them eventually. So, let me see something. Felt, felt, cotton... Okay, I am going to do a little bit of maneuvering here. And move the felt there to give me some space in here to build out some more uh, industrial buildings, if you will, production level buildings rather than farming level buildings. People celebrate your leadership. Great. We have got festivals all over the place right now. I forget where they all are, but they're all over the place, which actually means that this number's inflated, unfortunately. One of your routes has a minor issue. Probably for the same reason... <laughs> Why can't it unload in Luton? Oh no, Luton was at 200. That's what it was. Yeah, it can't unload in Luton. Um, I'm going to remove the beer for now. Okay, back to this problem. <laughs> One thing I am going to need to do is I'm going to need to run better roads, I think, through here. Make it a little bit quicker to move the wood up to where the Marquetry workshop is going to be. Alright. Tobacco. I want to get them up and going first. A hundred and ninety-two. able to put anything there other than the module limit okay so there's tobacco why did this why is my numbers dropping oh god 
God, I hate it when that happens. And it's not like they're dropping a little, they're dropping a lot. About time he was something good. Okay, so we need one more. festivals ended which is entirely possible okay so there's tobacco plantation now we can go ahead and put in the marquetry workshop That's going to absolutely affect, I mean, all of our workforce numbers are fine, but I did want to see here. Okay, so there's, that's the marketplace, that's the fire station, church, church is reaching everybody. Okay, everyone's good. Um, I think probably up here is the next one. Like that. Okay, so we've got tobacco. We've got the cigar cases or marquetry. Yeah, all we need now is the cigar factory. That's going to be a big maintenance cost, but uh, we're also going to get a lot out of it because the uh, cigars are $7 of revenue per Abrero household. So that'll be, uh, that'll be a nice big chunk. Uh, while we are here, I wanted to go over and take a quick look at Barcelona. Barcelona's got a town carnival going on. Yeah, they're at 11.48 right now. Yeah, so this number is very inflated, unfortunately. Um, one of the things I wanted to look at It's here, all thanks to your leadership. We could do cigars again, but cigars... I mean, we're not up to enough of Brera's here. And, and the problem that we do have on... Uh, Barcelona is a lack of space. I mean, there, there's just not enough space. So one thing I did potentially want to do Let me take a look here at everybody and make sure they're happy. Alright, they've got everything. Yeah, Barcelona's now got work clothes and felt. And then the Abreros. Yeah, they don't have beer. And I don't know when they're going to be able to get beer. Because at the moment... Yeah. Madrid is waiting for its next shipment. Sevilla. They have a harvest festival. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
All right, you're a little bit too far away from the church. Really? Yeah, all right. And from the mark. Oh my, what? Oh, and from the marketplace. Hmm. Yeah, this is the big problem that we have with Sevilla. I mean, there's a lot of real estate, but it's clearly separated by this gorgeous waterfall and river. Um, there's a good chance that I'm going to have to move all of this out. And it might not be a bad idea to do it now. Because that'll give room for growth. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I've got the money. Let's take the clay factory and use that as a splitter. I'm then going to grab all of this and move it up here. Which then gives me room for growth. Because I can add additional farms if I need to. Yeah, Luton had a festival going too. And then let's move you out to here as well. So those were the... Alpaca farms. Uh, we do have that warehouse to support them. And then we've got... What is this? Alright, so this is construction... Or, uh, production. So we'll move them over to here. need to move you two over to here as well. Actually, let's move you over to... Nope. There. So now we've got warehouse. Yeah, good. Alright, so that gives us a lot more opportunity for growth. Now, let's move you three... Over to there for now. Okay. And then let's see where things stand as far as the Abreras are concerned. Tortillas would be the next thing for the Abreras. So we could do tortillas on Sevilla right now, increase the population a little bit, and increase our revenues. Uh, so tor tortillas, corn, and cattle at a two for one. But I don't, oh, it's saying I don't have enough abreras, which means I need to add more farmers first, or yornaleros. All right, let's, let me do something here. I, first of all, I want to do that and that. I'm going to move you there. from the market. 
This isn't final. I, I need to move some things. I'm not happy with the placement. I need it to be more central. That, or I just need to move... Actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. better. That's a lot better, I think. I apologize for all of that. Alright. Let us put in what we need for tortillas. We need a cattle farm. Stand aside, boss. Okay, there's our cattle farm. And then we need corn. just did something I don't know which one of these islands is which Fort Freeman Aspen Mount East Monument all right it must be over in the old world then Okay, here we go. Um, Eighty-five K. I don't want her taking over his islands. Don't you cut in, you slippery fish. It's probably gonna get bought back in ten minutes. But dude, I'm doing this for you, and yet you're knocking me for this. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Um, where was I? <laughs> uh, there's nowhere to take it. Oh, all right. Let's 
move that there. I really thought that that was going to be the perfect location. But I guess not. Okay. Um, and then for tortillas. Yeah, we're now in a lot better shape here. Let me upgrade you and you. You and you. Let's go check on Madrid real quick. Madrid should now have enough. All right, there's Marquette and tobacco. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and create the cigar factory. Uh, we'll put you right there. Now, I'm probably going to have to increase the population on Madrid to support the $250 maintenance cost. Um, while we're waiting on the cigars to get crafted, let's see what George has here. If you don't make a change, most often no one will. Okay, delivery quest. One day exploring the world won't be a privilege of the rich, but accessible to all thanks to the progress of global transportation. Help me realize that dream and build a railway. says to offer me a delivery quest, but this says help me realize that dream and build a railway. Let me see. Fight for it, if you have to. Deliver 13 tons of timber and 10 tons of steel. Oh, alright. That won't be a problem, I don't think. 10, okay, yeah. Ready for a challenge. Uh, 13 timber... And I don't like giving up steel beams, but it's fine. On our way. Okay. I want to. Uh... Okay, the white whale is on its way. Yeah, it's almost to Madrid, so it's going to drop off more beer and work clothes. The problem is, is it only was able to pick up 32 tons of beer. That's not actually good. Um, means that Wrexham isn't making enough beer to support a full 50 ton trip. Which means Madrid's going to run out faster than it can needs to. Alright, cigars haven't quite made it yet, but somehow my fertility is, or my profitability is going up. I think that has more to do with... Now it's going down. That might have more to do with uh, the old world than the new world. I may just have to live with a little bit of fluctuation at this point. Until I can In really these truly... modern times, I can become whoever I want to be. Here we go. Um, You've got something for me. Hey, yep, there you go. Respect where it is due. Okay. I needed to do something for George just so that I could make sure to clear up. Good and ready. The loss that we had just gotten for taking one of his shares. And by the way, that share is also giving us uh, revenue as well. Share income is currently 275. It's not making up for what we paid, but hey, you know what? Every little bit helps. <clears throat> um, I may actually start to move these farms out here as well, considering I've been moving the farmers out there. Speaking of, 
upgrade a few more of these farmers to our Yornaleros to our Breros. You reach a new milestone. Age of Festivals. Okay. I don't know exactly what that means, but all right. Oh, I update I it's upgraded such a pleasure to meet you at last. Oh, I've I did that by accident. Wings. Now I will join you on the stage. The Would artista, you care for a proper introduction? The artista asked if you'd like to be introduced to the novelties of the new world. Uh, you can see we now have artistas down at the bottom. I actually didn't mean to do that, by the way. I was trying to get the Yornaleros upgraded to Abreros. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. And by the way, this is increasing our profitability <laughs> hugely. Um, all right, let's go ahead and hear what he has to say. As the artistas would say, entertainment is a way of life, soothing the soul and bringing people together. A new category of lifestyle needs is now available for all of your residents. You'll need to activate them manually for each resident tier. Oh, it's introducing us to lifestyle needs. All animal farms in the New World can produce secondary products on top of their regular output. Just connect the main building to the power grid. Oh, okay. I could well, simply get the pets. Scarcity of soap in Wrexham. I, it's because I'm not creating soap in Wrexham. Dumbest thing. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, that's a fertilizer agricultural improvement fertilizer silo. Oh, so it actually creates fertilizer. Okay. I don't know that I need fertilizer, but okay. Uh, and we're not ready to do electricity yet. All right. Let's take a look at what the artistas have. Like okay, so the artistas work off of beer. Perhaps, uh, sorry, uh, needs. Tortillas, sewing machines, coffee, bonbons, soccer balls. Mezcal. Ah, uh, beautiful tequila. <laughs> Yelia. I actually don't know what that is. That one's new to me. Uh, beach. Have you heard of Manola? The big island, hidden gem of the south? They say a drink from its waters grants the gift of true insight. It sounds like a wonderful place to settle down. I don't know what that means. Uh, soccer balls, mezcal, beach, perfume, fans, and scooters. And then happiness is beer, uh, boxing, and cigars, so we're already halfway there. Then we've got ice cream, a samba school, and a cinema. And lifestyle needs. We've got, of course, the mail, light bulbs, lanterns, and jewelry. They all come from different uh, worlds, not this one. Champagne, billiard tables, and souvenirs. So a lot going on here with respect to artistas. And then for artistas, right now, the only things that we have available are sewing machines, which we can only get from the old world. Uh, soccer ball and mezcal. Now, I'm curious as to what... So, soccer balls are made by Kalchuk plantations, which we can't even build here, and a Nandu farm. I'll be honest, I don't know what Nandu are. And then with mezcal, sugar cane, orchard citrus, sugar refinery, and herb garden. So more than likely, the mezcal, much like the rum, is going to have to be produced over on Barcelona. But at least now we know what the artistas are looking for. Uh, they are not very happy. We'll have it back soon enough. Wow. That's the first ever gift I've gotten from Anne Harlow. Um, I don't know why they're moving out. Oh, they're going to... Yeah, I don't know why they're moving out. I have no idea why they're moving out. Huh. That's weird. Okay, but that was the first part of the goal for today. Um, 
We now have Sevilla with tortillas. Let's take a look. Yep, they're good. So they're they're now in a plus 423. City Festival is ending soon. Yep, 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 yep. Barcelona. Much obliged. Yeah, their next big thing is beer and, and sewing machines, and I'm just not sure how we're going to make, make that happen. Work clothes, they're fine. Where's beer? Yeah, they're, Madrid is going to run out of beer. That's my big concern right now. Okay, let's wrap up this episode, or, you know, get to a point of completion. <laughs> Oh, Lady Margaret's got a quest. We gotta do this. You'd be doing this for the good of all of us. Oh, great. The Royal Council has been informed of a suspicious ship sailing in Her Majesty's waters. As a loyal servant of the Queen, I assume you will have no trouble in following them and reporting everything you learn about this strange alien. Okay. I hope you find it illuminating. To here. Fleet on the move. All right, let's go take out look at Wrexham here. I don't think they're producing enough beer. When it comes to beer, I know we've got the grain and malt situation. I've then got three hop farms. And the brewery. Let me take a look at production here real quick. Got more than enough fish. Play. I need another wheat farm. Yeah, I'm making enough. I may need to double production in order to support the trade route. There's a small problem with that. I don't know where I'm going to put anything. Oh my god, look at how small this island is. I had forgotten how small the island it was. Um, nice day for it. I'm wondering if I shouldn't move all of the wheat out here. Let's see what that would look like. Yeah, there's plenty of room for it. can always move the warehouse if I need to. Let's move you there. You there. number wise we could stand with some more farmers we all want you to succeed
Okay, let me get to wherever this is. Lady Kahina's, I think. Yeah. Why, why would... Let me... Attention for the Admiral. All right. Bye. Just like before, we're going to follow this. Because I just, I, I miraculously The people am bad. celebrate your leadership. Oh, nice. So one festival stops and another one starts. I don't always treat grievances so lightly. Look at this. What failure? Fleet awaiting orders. I don't understand what she's doing. Something going on here. If I can find it, that is. Oh, here we go. I need out with me lowly troubles. Bloody hounds have the whole neighborhood terrorized. Sooner or later, a kid's gonna end up bitten. Lock them away. You must. I got something perplexing. Need setting straight. Well, I can go back to regular time now. Up with a lark this morning, I was. Problem is, I see plenty of horses. There's a dog right there, but they won't let me grab it, so that's obviously not the right one. The stray dogs. Fresh this morning by yours truly. Slow down a little bit here. Anybody see the dogs? <laughs> There's a dog right there, but it won't let me. Grab it. Don't even mind the neighbors. I don't understand. like a nap in the orchard I mean I see dogs running around there's two right there but they're not letting me pick them up quote unquote so therefore it's not the right dogs and the only thing walking down the streets are cattle and horses yeah see there's one right there Fetid, festering filth. <laughs> Unless they want me to go all the way in. Yeah, see, there's a dog right there. I can't do anything Whatever with it. Whatever you though. do, master. I'm wondering if they don't want me to be down on the ground, and I don't know that I know how to do that. All right, we're just gonna have to let that one go. You made a sow's ear of it. All right. <clears throat> so, in Newcastle, everyone's fine. I believe everyone's fine in Luton as well. 
You've got our interests at heart. Yeah. Yeah, everything's good. There, and I know Luton is producing enough of what I need for the available uh, trade routes. I can probably, and let's, I'll go ahead and do that. Let's put in a few more houses for the farmers. What? Oh. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um. Well, you I can. I can put you right there. But you I can't. So let's move you there. Alright, so that'll increase a little bit of population on Luton. And then I can do a few more upgrades to workers. Maybe here. That should increase Luton's. Yeah, Luton's now up to 700. It'll be over 800 in a little while. Um, all right, that's really all that I can do with Luton. Let's go back to Wrexham. Try and get Wrexham in a little bit of a better spot. Yeah, Wrexham's now at a negative 356. How? if it's because it just doesn't no they've got more than enough room they're just not producing enough beer um where's my beer here it is look busy people yeah it's got perfect productivity it's more making one ton a minute I am probably going to have to double production on Wrexham in order to support the trade route. Because I don't know where the boat is right now that's coming to get the beer, but at 27 tons, it's not going to have enough for Madrid. Let me see where Madrid is. Yeah, it's down to 15. Ranger and send it to it's already dropping off at Sevilla. On our way. How is Sevilla with rum? It's almost full. Barcelona. Alright, nope, it needs to come back to Barcelona. Take the rudder. Yeah, I need to let Barcelona catch up with rum production, I think is part of my problem at the moment. I don't think Barcelona is producing enough to support the old world and the new world at the same time. Let me see where Madrid is with rum. Yeah, I, I need to stop sending rum to either one of these two islands, let them kind of sit for a bit. Assist however we may. Matter of fact, I am going to delete this route. I'm going to drop off all this rum here in Barcelona and then. Uh, We'll see what happens from there. Because right now, I'm picking up rum from Barcelona. A hundred tons of rum from Barcelona to support the old world. To support Newcastle. 
Yeah, so if I stop shipping rum to Madrid and Barcelona for a while, or uh, Madrid and Sevilla, that'll help slow things down, or speed things up a little bit. And then, this is a schooner. I'm going to go sell this, if I can. I don't know if I can. On our way. I'm going to try and sell it to Isabel. Diplomacy. She's happy. He's happy. She's just what she is. <laughs> Every little bit could make a difference for us. Okay. All right. I think that's all that we can do at the moment. Uh, obviously, there's still more work to be done in both the old world and the new world. Uh, we all obviously now understand that artistas... You push the limits of what's possible. Uh, ...require quite a bit in order to increase. Like, the minute we put in soccer balls, soccer balls now all of a sudden get us nine coins per artista household. So that's going to be huge. The problem is right now, I don't even know which island Barcelona could build soccer balls. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Barcelona can build soccer balls. So that would have to be something we would do here and ship over to Madrid. Um, and then Mezcal also is going to have to be done here on Barcelona because of the requirements for sugarcane. Sugarcane's got to go into a sugar refinery, but then we also need an orchard citrus. What is an orchard? Oh, it's similar to uh, Animal Farm. Okay, and it needs also similar distance like the lumberjacks do. Okay, what about herb, the herb garden? Oh, I can't do an herb garden here. Oh, God. So I'm going to have to ship sugar to Madrid, have the orchard and herbs on Madrid to then create the mezcal. Wow, that's going to suck. There's also something to do... What we always aspired to. Somebody has soccer balls as a lifestyle. When my need. time comes, I'll be turning yeah. heaven down. So the Yornaleros also have soccer balls as a lifestyle need. And that'll increase population and a little bit of profitability. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um... All right, I am not going to start any of this work yet. That will be what we start in the next season. But we need to go back to the old world. Back to Newcastle. Let's see where we are with... I'm curious. Okay, so somebody just came and picked it up. New orders, Admiral! Oh, it... Oh, that's right. The seahorse is dropping off uh, schnapps for Wrexham. So, somebody... Oops, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> I don't know where the ship is that has the beer... Or that dropped off the beer from Madrid. In any case, uh, we know there's still some work that needs to be done in Madrid. Luton is at the moment okay until we upgrade and see what things are next. Let's go ahead and do that. So we are here at Newcastle. We now have everything satisfied for the artisans. 
so many like-minded souls. Except rum. Oh, that's why my profitability is fluctuating. I'm running out of rum in Newcastle. That's why I'm running. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pause you. Okay, let's let's fix this right now. I don't know why this is sitting here. This is the Argus. What? That's this. A competitor raised a settlement. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. That makes no sense to me. And we've still got our share of George's Island. Huh. Okay, so there's our ship. Alright, drop off all the rum. And then go. That's going to increase the profitability back up. All right. Which artist do we want to upgrade? Yeah, so that brings our, our profitability back up. Everything is full. Uh-oh. Uh I don't like the looks of that. All right, before we can do anything, we might need to fix that problem. Let's take a look at bread. I'm making enough wheat. Actually, I'm making more than enough. I'm not quite making enough flour and therefore not enough bread. Okay, so I think I just need to add one more flour mill and one more bakery. Alright, where's... There's one flour mill there. We'll put another one. Actually, I am going to... Oh, there's four of them. Okay. There's all four flour mills. And then the bakeries are where? All right, let's move them too. I think that will fix the problem. I am also going to move one of these warehouses to there. And I'm going to remove you. The reason I'm doing this is because... I want to start moving all of this out to here, away from the farmers, to give me more room to actually put in more farmers. Uh, because I know I'm going to need them in future episodes anyway. And I've got the I've got the space. I mean, there's a lot of room out here that I can put further production. And I haven't. Even, I, I'm sure you all have noticed. I'm sure someone has seen this and has wanted to comment, but you haven't. I am not using trade unions anywhere. Uh, affects all lumberjack huts, increases attractiveness to plus three. Ooh, whoopee. Damage slow down minus 40%, productivity plus 10% for clay pits, limestone quarry, and that is absolutely useless to us right now. Uh, maintenance cost minus 40. Productivity plus 10 for winners makers. Also completely useless for us right now. 
Pearl Abundance provided. This is basically giving us a uh, boon to pearls, which is over in the New World. Major income tax amendment. Minus three happiness, but increases uh, income per house. That's a museum piece. Oh, yeah, we never did do the treasure hunt. I don't think we can use this anyway until we get to... Yeah, we need, a, we need to do the sunken treasures quest before we can even use that. Okay, let's see where the productivity is now. It should be fine. Yeah, now we've got more than enough flour. And of course, now we're not making enough freaking wheat. Alright, give me one second. I'm going to add another wheat farm. Mm. Never fails. Never ever fails. Patience is the most underestimated of the virtues. A destroy quest. I I want to do it. Good, child. But she's notorious for screwing me on these things. Oh, it's in the other it's in the new world. All right, we're going to have to let me see what this is. Be it from us to make the foreman work. Just became a precious little girl's papa gov. We need something fancier to toast just this once for my baby. You could get us some champagne, right? To be honest with you, I don't know if I can. Will you work your magic for us? What we do so love to see. Yeah, I don't have any here. I think I have... Here we go. Um... You can rely on us. I didn't realize I had any there, to be honest with you. All right, let's go to the new world and let's grab. Let me sell we you. search all our. Thank you. destroying a schooner so it's set look at this 28 minutes we're all on the same page here 28 minutes the non-aggression pact has ended okay well, your we're... harbor is under attack what who the hell is this I can't even defend myself I'm going to lose uh, Cartagena. Deliver to Hunt's Dignified Clipper Proof of Destruction. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Jolly Roger. Hurry up and get here. Attention for the Admiral. Okay, so the ship is already destroyed. I... I do not understand at all what is going on here. I didn't destroy a ship. Somehow the ship is destroyed. Cartagena is still in existence. I don't get it. Man, she is buying shares from George like crazy. The fire is out of control. Where? Where's my... Oh, 
Oh, crap. I don't have a... Yeah, I need to have another... Alright, while the... These ships should be on their way back. Please awaiting orders. 23 minutes. More than enough time normally, but this lady has a tendency to... The fire left ruins behind. Alright, now we've got a second firehouse now. Not happy about having to do that, but... That's the, the problem with this game. You, you really cannot... Estimate how many of any one of those kinds of buildings you're going to need. You can kind of judge, but like fire, you never have any clue when that's going to break out. You can certainly prepare for places like distilleries and um, rum factories and schnapps factories and all those kinds of things, because those have a tendency. In addition, any kind of... Awaiting new horizons. Come. Don't be sure. I'm sure you could rule this entire land someday. Okay, so 12360. And then. Perhaps you can bear this torch. Wow, two in a row? I shall be waiting. My young friend. Yeah. I. All right, I need to go back to the new world, old world. I grab the champagne. The people celebrate your leadership. Nice, that's gonna up. I don't even know how much I was supposed to get. Seven? Yeah, that's gonna be more than enough. <laughs> Keep her constant. <clears throat> yeah, we're we're doing very very well. One point seven three million right now. Not quite two, but look at the number. It's continually growing. As long as I keep this up into future seasons, we will be in phenomenal shape. <clears throat> All right, let's go back over to... We all want you to sit. Uh-oh. How remarkable. Fleet ready. Why do I have three ships here? A new commission. All right, Flying Dutchman, you're going there. Ready the ropes. Jolly Roger, you're going there. And then who's this? I. The Merlin. We'll put you at Seville. Okay. All right, I want to check in Seville. I hope it stays is. like this. Oh, we could put in a boxing arena for the worker for the Abreras. First impressions count. What is this? I just got 15 points. Someone needs to... F That's bad AI. I'm sorry. That is extremely bad AI design. Alright, how much space does the... Ceasefire has ended. Hmm. Nope. Not quite going to cut it. Well, hold on a minute.
one final look. Hold on. No, 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 no. Bread shortage. I fixed it. I fixed it. Sorry. Not gonna do it. Call it a white lie. Our circle is watching your every You are pissing me off, lady. I swear to God. We got you up to 80, and you're back down to 70 thanks to bad AI and me using uh, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Let me go back to the old world and validate. New orders, Admiral. Yep, let's drop off the champagne. Let's hear it then. A little love is all we, got we the... ever wanted. Wow, it's an epic. Affects all. Let me see what this actually is. Clifton Train Union affects all ironworks and foundries, increases productivity. Reduces workforce by 50% and but reduces attractiveness Yeah, but man that could actually increase attractiveness because I don't have all I need for my canvas. Oh Hold the machines Um, if I put a trade union up here, this might be the first time we use trade union. What I'm thinking here is that this could actually improve production so much up here that I can remove the mines that are further down. Oh, do I already have a trade union? I do. But what I should do is move this trade union to there, thereby getting more items in it. And then we do this. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. And this is chance of fire. We could put this in there, too, to affect all clay pits. It's not really all that big of a deal, but okay, there we go. We'll have to take a look at production, but if that like allows me to remove this iron mine, that would be ginormous. And this coal mine, that would be huge. That would be absolutely fantastic. Only a fool loosens that grip. You know what, lady? We're going to solve that Wicked problem right boss. now. I'm going to come send, sell you some beer. And then you're going to be all kinds of happy. And I'm going to make 100k out of it. Yeah, I don't need your gunboat. Give me something better next time. All right, apparently we've got an artist. Save me from this tortuous perplexity. Oh, for a taste of distant shores and foreign lips and the elegant shadows of slender leaves. Still, I cannot leave my earthly prison. To see that paradise, if only in a still picture, would take my breath away. So, photography Help. quest. My brief candle extinguishes. Isabel Sarmento's lighthouse. Okay. Which is here. There we go. 
I love these. They're they're nice and simple. <laughs> we have cause for urgent celebration. Equipped in a museum increases attractiveness. Well, that'll be nice to have. Awesome. All right, back to the old world. All right, we are ready to go with. Warm sun floods the meadow. Our upgrade to engineers. This will be the last thing for this season, and then we will pick back up from here in season two with the Sunken Treasures expedition uh, and a huge quest line. It's going to open up a whole new world, and we will start building out uh, artistas in Madrid. We'll start building out engineers here on Newcastle. So let us do it. You reached a new milestone. The Age of Science and Wonder. So the um, engineers go off of what the artists already I have. I shall evaluate this habitation before I draw any conclusions. But if we look here, they're already using canned food, fur coats, sewing machines, and the university. They then also want spectacles. One headline dominates the front pages. New hope for Lost Expedition. Lady Jane Faithful is gathering the world's best to conduct a full and final search of, our, of her own. Two years since Sir John Faithful's expedition to the Northwest Passage was declared lost in the Arctic. The captain's strong-willed wife says she will not rest until they are fed, bathed in hot salts, and tucked up in their beds. That is... My name is Lady Jane Faithful, and it is my husband, Sir John, whose expedition is lost in the Arctic. In two years, the Admiralty haven't done much about his rescue. But fortunately, I have. I have gathered men and resources to conquer the ice, and to you, I offer a handsome reward for bringing him home. Watcha, I'll be joining ya. Lady Faithful's engaged me for some practical advice. Gonna be dead cold up there. So this is the last... A bold new expedition. Yes, 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 yes. This is the last of the DLC uh, expeditions. So there is Sunken Treasures, which we'll do in the next season. Uh, there is Land of the Lions, which we'll do in the third season. And then Lady Jane's Arctic, which is in the last season, I think. I may actually swap out uh, the Arctic for Land of the Lions and, and swap them around. Not sure yet. Um, in any case, uh, spectacles, coffee, which obviously coffee we can do very quickly from the from the new world. We'll just have to figure out which island has the best productivity. And then uh, electricity and light bulbs. Those are the needs. And then happiness is the variety theater, of course, and rum. Penny farthings, which are uh, the big wheel, front wheel bikes, pocket watches, and a bank. And then lifestyle needs, we've, of course, got... Local mail, which I think we can go ahead and turn on right now. Uh, because we have the post office there in the artist area. Uh, but then we've got chocolate, mezcal, ice cream, soap, which we can turn that on as well. Uh, shampoo and medicine. So we are in very, very good shape here on Newcastle. Lot to do in future seasons. Uh, just taking a quick look here at spectacles. We need copper, zinc, sand. Sand we've actually already got, along with glassmakers, so that one isn't an issue. Uh, brass smelter, which is what the zinc and copper come from, and then the spe that all gets turned into spectacles. Uh, now, the thing to keep in mind here is I do not have any of those items on Newcastle. So... The spectacles, and specifically the brass, is going to have to be created someplace else. And that was exactly why I settled on Norwich. So Norwich has zinc, it has copper, so we will actually be able to do the smelting here on Norwich. Which means one of the very first things we're going to want to do in Season 2 is build out Norwich. Get it up and running for brass so that we can send that over to Newcastle create the spectacles there, and build out our population of engineers. Uh, so a lot to look forward to in the next season of Professor Builds and Anno 1800 Empire. I hope that you've been enjoying this as much as I have. Uh, 
obviously please keep, keep hitting the like button please keep hitting the subscribe button uh, because I want to actually continue doing this but I'm not gonna do it if no one's watching or if no one's caring about it uh, if you've got suggestions if you've got critiques please put them in the comments uh, I would love to hear from you I'm gonna be calling it here on season one of professor builds nano 1800 Empire the next uh, series that I will be doing is Professor Plays Baldur Gate th Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, we will come back with Season 2 somewhere in the next month or, month or so after we've gotten a little bit further into Baldur's Gate. Um, so hopefully I will see you then. Have a great week, great month, great year, and I'll talk to you very, very soon.